Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to involve the general. So we're going to have the general with the move. So a general can always move with a unit, with a, with a tug that's moving with him. But now, if you remember, he can use a one card upgrade. So I'm not going to redo the move for you. It would still be a yellow for a double wheel. But instead of a green, you could say, I'm with the general, white upgraded to green. And that would still allow you to do the double wheel that, that we did previously. I'm going to just add a few other things to that. If I put these on the end, they can't go with them because blocks can't have chariots and infantry in at the same time. A block actually has to be all infantry, battle wagons or elephants, which habitually did work together, or all cavalry, camelry and such things. So there's a clear distinction of what can form a block. In terms of the general, he could be with any of those units in any location. A general is always located with a file. So they don't sit at the side here. They always sit like this if they're with something. Or they can be sitting on their own, of course. So there you go, that's a, that's a general assisting with a block move. Competent general, three units. However, if he was only a mediocre general, he could only block move the two. And of course, the interesting implication of that with those is even though he could do it that way, he's actually not saving any cards anymore. He's now spent two cards for two units. So mediocre generals aren't terribly good at getting you a great deal of efficiency. Whereas a talented or a legendary will be moving four or five with just two cards. So that becomes very, very card efficient. So one of the things to think about in the game is how to use your cards most efficiently to keep your lines working well together.